But in the beginning, I said that we need a high velocity impact. So we need a gas gun. The velocity may reach up to 20 to 50 meters per, per second. The uninstrumented choppy uh, instrument cannot provide the unit in megapascal or gigapascal that we need for design. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello students and my fellow researchers. Uh, we know that experimental setup is a very important part <clears throat> of a proposal. Um, it located in a chapter three in a research proposal or part two in a research paper. So today in this video, I'll discuss about how to write an experimental setup, especially for um, those of you who use physical instruments for measuring the variable in your research. Before I proceed, uh, if you are new here, I'm Bustam Isham. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering, University of Sumatra Utara, Indonesia, and this channel is about research uh, management. Uh, step number one, prepare a metric that contains the title of your research project. Write down clearly the title of your, of your research. And then break down into research subject, research variable, sub-variable, indicators, or if you need until um, descriptors. From there, you will know what kind of physical instrument that you need to, me to measure the variables. Let me show you one example of uh, a metric and an example of research title. Okay, uh, I wrote down a title sound in the flip chart right here. A dynamic modulus of elasticity of ceramic uh, materials. So, first of all, we consider this one as a research subject and we found that dynamic modulus of elasticity is the variable that we have to measure and then because of dynamic we have to find a dynamic apparatus an experimental setup that can provide a high velocity impact such as uh, air gun and when we say engineering ceramic or ceramic material, it means that we can raise a question of what kind of ceramic. Okay, we, we stated in the, in the introduction part of our proposal or part two of our research paper that the engineering ceramic, for example, um, alumina, bar or something like that okay and then now we start constructing what i call it a metric okay now let's check the research subject and variable and insert it into a metric as shown in this table right here so write it down the uh, research subject the research subject is ceramic material. Ceramic materials.
Okay, we make it in detail. Say, for example, alumina. Alumina is Al two O three bar. And the variable is the dynamic modulus of elasticity. So dynamic modulus of elasticity. E D. Okay, the unit supposed to be a giga pascal so by now we know that we have to measure the c0 the stress wave uh, velocity in a bar elastic wave velocity in a bar so how to do it we have to to have a gas gun in order to obtain the impact force okay so what do we do this is the apparatus or or the instrument that we need so here we need say like gas gun maybe you may ask why not choppy why not choppy choppy impact is also can provide impact velocity can provide impact force but in the beginning i said that we need a high velocity impact so we need a gas gun the velocity may reach up to 20 to 50 meter per, per, per second in addition that the the, the uninstrumented choppy uh, instrument cannot provide the unit in megapascal or gigapascal that we need for design but choppy uninstrumented choppy uh, apparatus give you unit in 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 joule in in energy so we cannot use it for a design that's why we propose that we use the gas gun here okay now let's proceed to the step uh, two. are you with me right so now let's proceed to step two prepare a uh, experimental apparatus so we have learned that we we can't measure directly the modulus of elasticity all we have to do is to measure the uh, dynamic stress wave propagation velocity in a solid in a, a alumina bar so let's figure out the gas gun that I talk before so we need the bar I call it this is the incident bar this is the incident bar and we need a striker here Okay. okay this is a striking bar this is a striking bar striking bar with uh, can't vary in velocity to impact the incident bar so after impact say this is the impact distance 
ID after impact this striker may be reached here and then stress wave propagate to this end and then propagate back here that's how it work now the problem is how to launch this striking bar so here we need a gas gun so we put this striking bar in a tube and the tube is connected to um, say gas gun say here is gas gun so this gas gun will make or will accelerate the striking bar at any impact distance we need it by varying the impact distance we are going to have different uh, velocity so we'll have a different velocity uh, from here to here so this is the velocity say uh, v yeah or this one is we call it c0 incident burr is made of say steel this one also steel and then what is the diameter of the steel bar okay so we need what is the diameter of steel bar or the incident bar and the striking bar see this one is d2 and this one is uh, d1 usually we said d d1 equal to d2 now we proceed to the step three okay sketch again the experimental apparatus as shown here so we have gas gun or we start from here uh, the specimen bar alumina bar supposed to be number one and then striking bar there's two the striker is three and the gas gun or uh, air compressor so the gas gun or air compressor uh, number four we provide strain gauge number one and number two um, in a specimen to measure the as i told you in the previous step to measure the time needed to propagate from one point to another point from uh, strain gauge one to strain gauge, strain gauge uh, number two uh, so we catch the data from these two strain gauges and we amplify in the strain amplifier and then from strain amplifier we transfer to oscilloscope we set up the vault uh, strain everything right there and then from there to the computer so from computer we process all the data and we got a we can calculate the modulus the dynamic modulus of the elasticity of the materials so this is the figure of the experimental setup um, to be uh, to be placed in a chapter three of a proposal or the part two of the uh, research paper so write down what is number one number two number three number four up to number nine right here so now we have the experimental setup for our research entitled 
uh, dynamic modulus of elasticity of a ceramic materials. The final step in providing the uh, experimental setup for chapter three in a proposal or, or part two in a, in a research paper, uh, all we have to do now is just write nicely what material we use and uh, for example the dimensions the geometry of the specimen we set up experiment in the experimental um, apparatus what is the properties of say like the incident bar uh, striking bar and what is the uh, specification of the gas gun for example um, the maximum pressure that we can provide in order to have uh, varied uh, velocity of the striker what is additional instrumentation that we need to propel the striking bar for example we need solenoid valve and we just put in there okay and then we write everything in in a good paragraph we have to write about two paragraph for the material and method i think there's more than enough we'll have a good uh, experimental setup for our experiment of course anyway this is only one example of research title you may try with your research title how to prepare the experimental setup okay good luck if you find this is uh, beneficial to your research work right now uh, please consider subscribe support this channel by subscribing put like and any comment is welcome and share. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.